Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to change the buy it now button color on your Shopify store from scratch in 2024 without any coding involved. So without further ado, let's have read it. So to actually do this is quite simple and without the use of any um, fancy coding, um, I believe uh, Liquid is the programming language that Shopify uses. I think it's actually exclusive to Shopify only. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, this method is going to show you um, a way on how you could change the color of your buttons without having to use the built-in or native site builder over at Shopify and without using coding. So normally, uh, you guys would first log into your Shopify account like I have here, as you can see. And um, when we want to edit some of our stores, we click on online store, go to themes, and Shopify will actually list <clears throat> our online store as customizable. So here's my landing page for my online store. And if I were to add a new element here, let's say that I want to add a button. So I'm gonna add a new section to button. Actually, I don't think it's shown here. Yeah, it's not shown. So we can do, um, <clears throat> can do a random one like, uh rich text for example because we can actually add a button to this one hold on here we are wait for its load and here are our buttons so the idea is when we go to when we want to configure the button color um you can see that you can't it's not actually a thing that you can do on uh, the native builder for shopify so you get, sure, you can change the label. You could put um, shop now something. Hit enter. You can see it says shop now. But there's actually no button to change the color for it. Now, even if you guys go to um, theme settings and click on colors and you selected a different scheme, it would actually affect the entire page. So that's a that's a no-no if you ask me. So um, the idea is if you want to do a custom way to change the color, You'd have to go back, so let's actually undo everything, and click on Edit Code. It should take you to this page right here. So here's the Liquid um, language that I was talking about earlier. Go to the Assets folder and look for the corresponding element on your page that you want to edit. So you just want to look for Button and add Insert Code. So that's not a thing that we're going to do. So instead, we're going to be using eComposer, which is a pretty cool um, plugin or site builder or landing page builder for your Shopify store. So I already have it installed and show you guys what I mean. If you want to install it, you would want to click on apps right here. Click on apps and sales channel settings. And from here, you'd want to click on Shopify app store and it should uh, open up a new tab or a new window. Or actually, let's call it a tab. I'll take you to the store showing you all of the compatible apps and plugins that you can integrate with your Shopify. So from here, we're going to type eComposer like so just like that hit enter and you'll see that i already have it installed so this is the one that we're looking for so the cool thing about this is it's actually built for shopify so everything integrates seamlessly and everything you could possibly need is um, included in eComposer and it's completely free although they do have paid plans that come with more features if you so desired but i already have it installed so that's cool so let's head back to our home page and click on apps again and from here, select eComposer Builder. So from here, we're going, to, we're going to wait for it to load, just like so. And then we're going to edit our page by clicking on Start Building. So you could, from here, you could uh, create one from scratch or use one of their pre-built templates to do so. So let's just do one from scratch. Hit Next. Give it a title. So let's do um, Home Page, just like that. It's like our theme. So the only one I have, the only one I have installed is a Dawn or a Shopify theme. So click on Start Building. It's like so. Wait for it to load. It's going to generate a <clears throat> a page for us. And here is our store. Now, if I want to add a new element to this one, like let's say a button. So the idea is we'd first want to add a um a container that we get to add to our store. So we could do something like this. We'll do shipping. Or honestly, we could do anything. And then from here, under section one, column one, we're going to add a new element, a button. So let's actually insert this here. Let's see where it 
pops out. So here we are, here's the button. And if you want to configure this, let's actually wait for it. Um, okay, so here we are, it actually popped up. So we here, you can see that eComposer comes with the option to make it 3D if you want to. You can even change the color or the gradient. So here I'm gonna cha change it to gradient and use style only. You can use the preset, you can uh, mess around with the color spectrum, basically give it a new color. So that's pretty cool. So a lot of things you can do with eComposer. You even add um, this button, which is a preset. So that's awesome. But yeah, that's that's the idea. You guys actually get to uh, change the color for your button from scratch using eComposer. So here I'm going to go with the gradient button because it looks very cool. Obviously you can change it too, to whatever you want. And uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully it helped out and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.